Hello and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. For this video, we're going to work on solving equations that have higher roots in them. So I've already made a few different uh, videos that have square roots. We're going to look at things like higher powers, like cubed roots, fourth roots, you know, something a little bit bigger. The good news is that when it comes to uh, solving something with a higher root, uh, you're pretty much just trying to isolate it and get rid of it. So here's how we do that. First, find the root you're trying to get rid of and make sure that it's the only thing on one side of the equal sign. So just isolate it. Then go ahead and raise both sides to a power that matches the index of the root. That means if you're trying to get rid of cubed roots, you will cube both sides. Uh, if you're trying to get rid of like uh, fourth roots, then you will take both sides and raise it to the fourth power. So always keep those things the same. Once that's done, your root should be gone. You can solve the remaining equation. And of course, the very last step, always check your, la uh, your solution with these radicals uh, just to make sure that they work in the original. Okay, let's get on to the first of my two examples and see how this works. So here I have a, a, a small one. The fourth root of x minus 1 is equal to 3, and I want to solve for x. So this root is already isolated on one side of the equal sign, not too bad. And to get rid of it, I'll raise both sides to the fourth power. So fourth, fourth. Now I'm using the fourth power because the fourth power and the fourth root will end up killing each other off. So x minus 1. Over here, 3 to the 4th, this will give me an 81. Okay, so a much better equation that, you know, I'd rather solve this one instead. Uh, let's add 1 to both sides. And we'll get x is equal to 82. So it looks like that's going to be our solution. Let's go ahead and make sure by plugging this back into the original and seeing that it all works out. So I have 82. We'll subtract 1. We want to check, does this thing really equal 3? So that was from our original. All right, working on the inside, you can see that we're taking the fourth root of 81, which is 3. So this one definitely checks out. So x really is equal to 82. Now let's look at one that's a little bit more complicated to show that the same process works out. You know, really look at the index of the radical, raise both sides of that power, and solve the remaining equation. In this next one, we want to solve the cubed root of 6x squared plus 5x minus 5 is equal to the cubed root of 6x. Okay, so notice this one, we want to get rid of these cubed roots. So, in order to do that, I need to take both sides of this and raise it to the third power. I'll get rid of both of them. All right, let's see what this leaves us. So 6x squared plus 5x minus 5 is all equal to a 6x. All right, so this leftover equation looks like it's quadratic. I got my x squared over here. So we'll subtract that 6x from both sides and continue solving. So minus 6x minus 6x. So I have 6x squared minus x minus 5 is all equal to 0. All right. Uh, this guy actually factors, and it's not too bad. You get an x minus 1 and a 6x plus 5. So it looks like we have two possible solutions for our equation. x could equal 1, or x could equal a negative 5 6. All right, so just to make sure that uh, these are our, our, our solutions, let's go ahead and check them back in the original. We'll have to work with a few fractions when we get to this guy, but uh, let's start off with the one first. That one looks nice and easy. So we'll take the cubed root of six one squared plus five times one minus five. We need to check, is that equal to the cubed root of 6 times 1. Alright, so let's put in a 1 for all of those spots. Alright, carefully uh, crunching things down here. So 1 squared would be 1, times 6 would be 6, 1 times 5 would be 5, then I have a minus 5. So plus 5 minus 5, I get just the cubed root of 6. Alright, over here on the other side, 6 times 1 is 6. So cubed root of 6, 
cubed root of 6. So we get exactly the same thing. So I know that x equals 1 is a solution. All right, now let's try this out with a negative 5 6. All right, so we need to put that in for all of the x's. So I have the cubed root of I have 6 of a negative 5 6 squared plus 5 of a negative 5 6 minus 5 equals the cubed root of 6 times, and we'll put one more negative 5 6 right underneath there. So negative 5 6, negative 5 6, and negative 5 6. Okay. So we do have to work with fractions a little bit, but uh, fortunately I don't think this will be too bad. Uh, let's start with this one where we have to square the top and square the bottom. So negative 5 squared is 25, and 6 squared is a 36. It's going positive because I have a negative times a negative in there. Let's see, over here we'll have a minus because I have a positive and a negative being multiplied. 25 all over 6. And then, of course, I'm subtracting 5 away from that, and the cubed root of all of that. Okay, so that looks good. Cubed root of... Uh, well, this one's not so bad. Notice how there's a 6 in the bottom. We'll cancel that out with the other 6. So we'll just say we have a negative 5 underneath there. Okay. Now, there's a little bit more simplifying we can also do on the left. Notice how this 6 will cancel with a, a 6 in the 36. So 6, cancel 1, 6 away. And now what we can see is that both of these fractions have the same denominators. So a positive 25, 6 minus a 25, 6. Both of these will combine and give us a 0. All right, so let's write everything that's left over. So I have the cubed root of negative 5 equals the cubed root of negative 5. And look at that. Both of these things match just fine. So we can say, yes, this one also checks out, and that x equals a negative 5, 6 is another solution. All right. So you can see with these higher roots, uh, you're really doing much of the same things for any type of radical equation. Uh, isolate them as best you can, and use a power on both sides that matches the index. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.